uh, what's going on guys so let me tell you guys what we're gonna be listening to today we're actually gonna be reacting to an album by an up-and-coming artist I guess you could consider him an up-and-coming artist he's definitely um, he's not mainstream he's out there grinding making music uh, and we've actually heard from him before on the channel so we're gonna be reacting to NBA streets Gangsta edition by Blood Blixing. Some of you guys might remember the video that I did for Blood Blixing a while ago. Um, and it was a while ago. Um, but he just recently dropped this. And I am just, you know, when I found out, I, uh, I was super interested to see how he grew as an artist, how he evolved, how his sound has changed. Um, the cover art is really, really dope. I'll put it up on screen so you guys can see it as well. Um, I just, I'm really interested to see what this sounds like, what he's going to do with this. Uh, it's 15 tracks. Uh, I'm certain that we're going to have something to say about all of it. Um, you know, so I, I just felt like, you know, I got to listen to this. I got I to gotta show love to the, to the bro. So um, let's, let's check this out, see what he's got for us. We're going to jump into track one, which is Bang. Fire with the PS2 sound effect. Makes total sense with the cover art. I thought we were going to use that really cool sample. All players, all players, you was not at all player. Niggas getting money, guaranteed you're not a boss player. Make the opposition be the boss. Okay, I'll say this. I really like the beat. I really like how loud and energetic the drums are. Um, I like the, the processing on the vocals. That makes your vocals sound really thin and kind of reminds me of Lil Wayne a little bit. Um, I also like the plucky strings in the background. You know, do 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 That little rising melody that's really cool. But... The heavy reverb on the drums are kind of drowning out the vocals a little bit. So I wish I could hear your voice better um, and more clearly on this one. But I'm, you know, that's really the only issue that I'm, I'm having with it so far. I've heard some of their stuff before, yeah. I think there's a reaction on the channel too. I'll say this too. The vocals, the auto-tune, the processing on that is cool. It makes your voice sound very thin. But I could have used some reverb on the vocals. They sound a little dry on top of this really wet, reverberant sounding beat. You know what I mean? On top of these drums. Um, I do think that your performance is really dope. I'm loving the flow, the fast paced, energetic delivery right off the bat for the first track is really cool too. Yeah, but I do wish that the vocals didn't sound so dry. Too busy writing poems on the left alone. Uh -huh. Two to the dome bus too. Oh shit, I think that, um, I think that the first verse was actually the, the feature. I could have sworn it was Blix with, with some, some processing on the vocals. Damn, okay, I think this might be Blix. We're gonna make it home. This that lights, camera, action. It's a W for the, uh, for the, for the bang and the, the basketball shit towards the end there. Uh, especially because it's called NBA Streets Gangsta Edition with the, the cover art. Totally makes sense. Also, love that you're wearing a Celtics jersey on the cover too, man. I grew up in Massachusetts, so that's, you know, that's my shit. I appreciate that as well. Um, <clears throat> listen, uh, Blood Blixing. So assuming now that you're the second, the second verse on this, I like that your vocals are more clearly understood because of how loud they are in comparison to the beat. They don't get drowned out by any of the drums or anything like that. Uh, so I like how loud it is. However, the mix on the vocals sounds a little muffled and it sounds like there's some, you know, some distortion or something on your vocals that's making them sound a little fuzzy. I'm not sure just yet how I feel about the, the fuzziness to the vocals. I th like maybe it fits with the beat, but I gotta re-listen to it to really decide. I do appreciate the volume. I just think that maybe the mix could be cleaner on your vocals. Track two is And One featuring Plex Diamonds. Higher production on this edition. Niggas getting lit up most of the night. Such a big percentage I'm never missing. Welcome to the arena. Only in court. A tremendous shit begins to take waste. And I'm loving this track right now. The sample is so tough. I love how clean these vocals are. The flow is dope. The drums are really hard. It's got some crazy bounce to it. Feels really old school. Boom bappy. Very, very cool. Shuttle works from Coney Island to Sunset Park at the dark. I've noticed many who claim to travel. 
still only walk. We wonder why they the last one. My feelings come out after a fifth of liquor. You a buck like Kara Cross, I'm more of a pincer. Your face is a crazy like that car play with time, man. You claim you a gangster, but ain't committed crime, man. I like four doors, no heads, milk duds. The old one that thing ain't fucking with us. Not the bald head milk duds bar, come on. That track is a W, dude. Really loud. Um, but I'm just, I love the way that they use the sample. I love the bouncy drums. I think the, the mixes on the vocals are really clean. Plex Diamonds came in with a really fire verse. Blood Blixing did his thing towards the end. Blood Blixing is doing this thing where he lets all the features rap first. Uh, and, I, you know, you, you listen to so much hip hop and uh, it, it's, it's not very common. A lot of times the person whose song it is raps first and the feature comes second. But on, these, on both of these last tracks, the, uh, the feature came first, which was, uh, you know, it's pretty interesting. Spud Flex Web featuring Jackie Scan. Yeah, I don't know who was in charge of mixing the songs. I'm, think that, I'm thinking that you're going for the style intentionally at this point. Because um, the songs are really, really loud. They, they come, they're distorting a little bit with how loud they are. Uh, the low end really just like booming the vocals coming across distorted and fuzzy like it's whoever mixed this really pushed the volume um and you know it's not going to be for everybody i think yeah. i'd rather save me some bands man like damn yeah. I hope in the music in the fifth minute, put him in a pit, and I'm improving my pen, and I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it all again, I'm gonna do it off the strength. Yeah, I'm really not a fan of the mix on uh, Jackie Scan's vocals here. Just too much reverb. It sounds like he recorded in a room that had too much natural reverb going on, and so it kind of just like muffles his vocals. It really makes his lyrics difficult to understand, and um, it just really feels like the sound is bouncing around and echoing all over the place, and it kind of makes it just sound very, very amateur. Um, you know, so I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. I think he needed to go for a very clean recording in a room with, you know, carpeted floors and, and acoustic panels or, a, you know, if you can't afford a studio, put blankets up on the walls so the sound's not bouncing around everywhere, record in the closet. Just get as dry a sound as possible and add reverb later. Right now, you know, it's just, it's not really a clean mix for his vocals here. I'm a veteran in a room, a letterman on a loop, get better and improve, big step in the boot, she wet in the room, and I ain't settled soon to fake metal with truth. I also just saw that the beats are by Blood Blixing as well. Uh, I'm loving your choice of samples, dude. I think that that's some of the strongest parts of these beats, is the choice of the sample and how you chop them up, um, honestly, so that's cool too. I just, I, I wish Jackie Scan's vocals were cleaner here, and uh, the whole track didn't feel so blown out and distorted. Turn You On featuring Link Lone and... Uh, Who be jazz? Yeah, ooh, girl, yeah. Curves remind me of the three point line. I wanna rub on you every time, baby. Let's watch and glorious. I wanna turn you on, baby. I wanna turn you on, yeah. Ooh, I wanna turn you on. I wanna turn you on, baby. Let me turn you on. I surprise myself sometimes tripping about some shit that I can't help but demon but lucky for her I'm used to slaying all I'm trying to turn you on girl don't want these other basic homes Yeah, on oh, baby let me turn you on I surprise myself sometimes tripping about some shit that I can't help This one's cool going for the more romantic side I like this one man, this one's pretty clean uh, going for the more romantic, like, you know, let me vibe with you kind of a feeling. You could play this with your girl. Um, I like that, that he's trying to be, you know, versatile. I like that uh, the, the beat is really smooth. It's a little soulful. It's not just straight up, you know, gangster, boom bap, hip hop. It's, it's cool. It's cool. Um, displaying some versatility here. Track five is Money, Money, Money featuring Vic Spencer. Make death focus trick this listen. The mission is to decapitate the rapper's voice. All these crash dummies on the scatter course. It's not my fault I killed y'all on purpose. I even hate the nigga that you worship. This is a great flow. Love the string samples too. My niggas on the west side got them guns. Stop rapping, still be rich. I could never be fake on a homie that's a Fendi. Abundance. I got many. A Rihanna. Pull the umbrella when you see drama. Oh, wow, okay. This one might be my favorite. I love the samples. This one's really cool. 
Money, money, money might be my favorite so far, man. The string samples are just so glamorous, very, very chill. Uh, love the really laid back flow, just super confident. Very nice. And the Vic Spencer feature was really good too. Sunny Days, Knicks versus Lakers, featuring AJ Slade. McGrady on the Raptors, team full of factors. Never got to ring at the end of the chap. Trying to get money out the dunk contest. Guard in the paint, magic in the suns. At Ben 10, Omni Tricks, smoking on the weed up. Stephen A, keep my pen sharper than the blacksmith. Maybe it is the same city of Los Angeles, but I found devils. Life's a game, but we on different levels. The only don't curse is crazy, cause I feel like I'm blessed with a curse. I won't believe it. And yeah, I'm not really feeling this one, man. This one just doesn't sound very clean at all. It sounds a little messy. The mix is sloppy. The track is again, it's it's really blown out. Um, the sample is so cool. The beat's actually pretty pretty dope, but the way that it's mixed, it's just it's so loud that it ends up diminishing the quality of the sounds and you just you can't really pick out all of the tiny little details that I love to enjoy so much especially in that sample you know it's like the the really overblown uh, bass and, and drums are drowning out all of the really cool strings and, and stuff in the sample and uh, even the vocals are just like peaking and, and heavily distorted because of how loud it is so it's like this one just doesn't really sound very clean at all um, it sounds very messy I'm not a fan of sunny days Next track is LeBron Flocka James featuring Billy Woods and Iceberg Theory. You got a Billy Woods feature on here? Crazy. Went to the store for light bulbs, got got it. Narcotics, it's dark inside the spot. Who good? Who day and Kuse out the mosh pit. Taco meat on Doritos, come get your peoples. It's shot Nori. Protect the legends, man. Protect the legends. Cavity vegetables on veterans. Oh, uh, links to supersede the seas. There's degrees. I made it to a lease. The cloak covered in fleas. It, it's only sustenance. Supple flesh and supplicants touch warm as a summer wind. Keto festival outside the house. Fitting skills in the middle of Alizan. Also rap good. Furnic kids with one viscous sap. Carved lacquer. Savage Jackson. I ain't Dang. doing features. Shit's too much of a hassle. But when you said the song with Woods, you know I have. I agree that Griselda has a similar style especially to this song with the really simple uh, beat you know not super blown out drums and, and the the simple sample loop that they definitely like to use beats like this and perform with a similar amount of energy and, and toughness uh, and grit over the beat absolutely so I can totally understand the comparison with this one um, but I feel like that I don't know who that that person that was just rapping there towards the end was I don't know if that was um, I think that might have been iceberg theory but um, I feel like he was just doing too much with his performance. He was like over enunciating all of the words and trying to sound harder than, you know what I mean? He, it just didn't sound like he was being natural while he rapped his verse. The flow was dope. It's the performance that just felt like he was doing a little too much, especially over the beat. You know, the beat was so simple. He could have just been like super chill about it and it would have sounded much, much, you know, better, I think. But it's not a bad track at all. Um, I definitely see the comparison. Conway's your favorite? Conway's a pretty good choice, man. Conway's a pretty good choice. A lot of people overlook Boldy James though, and he's, he's I think, lyrically the best rapper. Uh, but in terms of like a blend of artistry, you know, lyrics, performance, um, swagger, charisma, I gotta say Benny, man. I gotta say Benny. La and Basketball. <laughs> Love and Basketball featuring Def C. Yeah. So we all can't be pimps, we all can't rap. Then I squint and tried to picture it and winch didn't inspire desire to vanilla to convince late bloom a gloomy gate blinded by the wake and see self reflect I'm loving the strings in the sample man so cool Yo this verse doesn't sound good at all man look at the mix it just it feels so messy the vocals are so blown out man you got to be careful the vocals have got to sound better than this the first verse sounded so nice with this beat. The second one is so distracting and it's it's um, really taken me out of it. They saw me in his feed, miss me with the BS. This me willing to retrieve. Not enough care. The flow is great. It's just the quality of the mix on that vocal. I got my hand on a cleavage. And for the milk name, bro. The fact that you know Blix is insane, no. 
See, this is how clean your vocals should be sounding. Yeah, man, you should definitely strive to get your vocals to sound as clean as that first verse. The second verse was so, so distorted and blown out, man. Uh, it sounds like you need a better quality, higher quality recording and, and a clean mix on that, man. Um, otherwise, you're just, you're never going to sound professional, you're never going to sound good on the song. No one's going to want to listen to it if your song doesn't sound clean um, and your vocals feel like they don't fit as part of the beat. You know, no matter how dope your lyrics or your flow are, if the vocal mix isn't, gr isn't great and people just don't feel like what they're listening to was a song, you know, it's going to be tough to maintain any sort of an audience, man. Track 9 is Bricks Like Draymond featuring Planet Earth. That's actually, oh, Planet Earth, two E's there. Bricks Like Draymond is actually a funny ass name. The spirit with him everywhere we go. No, nothing can hold us. We still return like brush the dirt off your shoulders. Feel that temple. Only if it was all so simple. Hey, with a new trick, like brother had to Love the drums, like the samples a lot. Change with the golden fingers. Right until the pen broken. Change smoking my eyes wide open. We agree and continue to water our seeds. Artistically whole. Artillery free. The killing me be like, you must be kidding me. I heard quick. Because I missed the boat. You ain't fucking with me. This one is cool. It's not mind blowing, but it's pretty dope. Oh, I like the switch up here, right? Uh, that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. I like that one. It's nothing too crazy, but it's it's cool. New York shit reprise featuring King Arthur. Okay. Hey, yo, Captain's long, back of the sauce, have it a rap, it's my type of insight with a gorilla third party invite. Nigga, I'm getting mine, there's hers, and his is take the world, filling my canteen, small work, making reality of a man's dream. Yo, I'm giving you visuals if you can't see. Got to use a ball, they know that I'm ball, I'm losing six feet tall. Again, the sloppy mix here. Never. Rich Dad, I'll teach you a lesson. You a storm and my favorite play is pasta. BBD and do rag niggas staring up corners. Guys giving five percent lessons, five percent. Why we all shit? Catch me in some Tim's on my New York shit. Great rim on my New York shit. Tim's with. I think this one overstays its welcome just slightly. It could be maybe like 40 seconds shorter, I think. Um, towards the end there, I like what you were doing with the arrangements and stuff like that, but um, it was only cool for like 15 to 20 seconds, and then it, it was just like overstaying its welcome slightly. I'm gonna let it keep riding with uh, Miracle at MSG featuring Man's Dem. You sweet like popsicle, I pop nine nickel plated missiles flying, left the oxygen fading a little later. The triple layer German chocolate cake bacon, they stay hating. Bunch of rapping clay aching, this is a thousand different ways. Bad and eating, damn. I could get you hog tied for the free. I fuck on the first link, you pay a price for the pain. The bird flies so high till you can't see its wings. Shine, fuck nigga, yeah, sucker, what, what? Let's go. You really fucking with Blix. Yeah. I say it all the time. I'm gonna let it play into track 12, Maya Moore featuring Raheem Supreme. Hey yo. Send my vows, no I do. My style unmatched is viral. My life's enormous. I'm not dying my new life. You get flown like kites. Yikes. Hot like dykes in Arizona. Need a bad Mexican. Tina Child, she wants some more. I'm Lizzie, the way I'm clocking boards. I'm pulling up and stolen the thing. Lyrics are so dope, man. Yo, my mom told me never visit. Dude, the, the major issue with these tracks is the mix and the, uh, the, the quality of the recording. I don't know if it's your mic. I don't know if it's, you know, the, the gain on your, um, on your audio interface. 
I don't know what it is, but but your your vocals are coming in super super blown out, man. Um, you might have to mess around with that gain knob. You might have to get a new mic. I don't know what it is. I would start by messing around with the settings on the interface first before spending any money on a new mic, because I'm sure your mic is probably fine. You can get clean audio from you know cheap USB mics nowadays. Um, it really might be just your settings as you're you're recording your vocals that are you know. Um, blowing out your vocals as you record them. Lyrically, I mean, you know, lyrically you're dope. The production is fire. The charisma is there. It's just, it really is coming down to the quality of the, the mix and the recording that just kind of takes us out of the moment a little bit. Track 13 is for sale featuring Link Lone. This one's not really grabbing my attention at all. Yeah, for sale really just isn't my style, I think. The beat was okay, you know, it wasn't enough to grab my attention. Um, and neither were the performances, you know what I mean? Like, this, this one just wasn't really for me. I wasn't really feeling it. 07 Suns featuring Big Flowers and Devo XO. For the next I settled into it, my chest a chisel. Life is no good, all it takes is a swivel pass into the position they press when I'm missing, but I gotta do it to them often. Lost in neck top peril on the skyline. If I stay in one place too much, pull up the blinds, don't get me started. Cataclysmic when I'm too introspective. Count my blessings when I'm finally rested. I said just plain to them, sure of the weather and time. All the time, all the time in the world, but no cosign. They never see me. I recognize the sample from somewhere. Man, that bass is drowning everything else out. Wow. The flow is so dope. The lyrics are so hard. Wow. It's crazy. You guys are killing it with your performances, man. You guys are really, really killing it. You guys are really doing great in terms of lyricism, rapping over the beats, your pockets, your flows. You actually producing the beats, Blood Blixing. I mean, the, the beats are really, really fire. Really, really fire, man. The last track is Forever Blix. They ain't listen to me, but like I got some for them. Open the door for them. I chat niggas in person, you check forms. We argue who's the loss. If beef is a game, then these niggas is paused. Death, they don't even know the cause. I swear it wasn't us. I swear, Judge. I swear, I'm not a liar. Cause I'm not one. I know a hit nigga with a cozy on the pass in the rock. I'm Hawk on the planet and then rag the rock. Come on, son. they know who we are. Who we? I'm in house, so how the blicks get up out that? Yeah, yeah. I snatch life, man. I persevered. Yeah, stick same spot like lightning kid. Talk your shit, bro. Making classics to produce for the masses in the chain. Is he rewinding through the entire project? Okay, yeah, that ending was really cool. Rewinding through the entire album and just looping back into it. That is awesome. That is a really cool idea. Blood Blixing, uh, listen, dude. I would say, I want to start off with the, with the positive stuff first. I think production on this is impeccable. I think that all of your samples, all of the chops that you did with the samples, all of the drum programming, the sequencing, the sound selection, all of that, perfect, perfect. The beats where you decide not to use drums and just leave the sample, the loop of the sample, carry the bounce, the actual drums that are in the sample, play, play around, um, you know, play the, the actual drums and create the beat. Um, all of the sound effects, like all of that, perfect. 
as a rapper, I think your lyrics are tough. I think your performance is charismatic. It's real, it's raw, it's gritty. It fits with the style of production that you like to do. You know, the features are all very, very dope. I love your feature selection. I love, uh, except for that one guy who I said was trying a little too hard. I forget who, who that was. That was uh, Iceberg Theory, I think. He just felt like he was trying too hard. Beyond him, all of the features I really enjoyed. I think that you had charisma with a lot of them. I don't know if they're your friends or if they're, you know, just uh, other people who work, uh, you know, who make music that you just, you know of them and you, you contacted them. But I think that your choice of features for the beats that you were producing was also really, really solid. I like the structure of the album. I like the genre. You know, I like all of that. I think that potential here is massive. The only issue that I have with this album and unfortunately, it is a major one, is that the mixes are pretty messy. The mixes on a lot of these songs are pretty messy and very tough to listen to. I enjoyed so much about the music, but it was just, it's, it becomes very tough to point out what you enjoy when the loud, muffled, messy mixes are like making it so difficult for you to pick out little details in the tracks, you know what I mean? The overblown, you know, bass and the heavily distorted, blown out vocals drowning out other elements in the beats, just sounding amateurish. And I don't know who you get to mix your music. I don't know if you do it yourself. I don't know if you have someone else do it. I don't know who you get to mix your music, but I do think that, and obviously a great mix can't save a bad recording either. You really got to find out why your vocals are coming in off the recording so fuzzy, so blown out. Check your microphone, check all the connections, check the gain knob on the, on the interface. That could be messed up as well. Your audio needs to be as clean and dry as possible going into the mix so that then a great mix can make it sound clean and polished. But I would def that's my major issue with this album. Um, you know, the, the mix sounds amateur and everything else doesn't, right? Your flow, your performance, your lyricism, your production, all of that is like professional, sounds very high quality. And then an amateur mix just kind of ruins that. You know what I mean? So I would definitely focus on that in the future. Um, just try to get as clean of a sound as possible because you have done everything else correctly, man. You really do have a whole lot of potential. Those are my thoughts on the album. I appreciate you for watching. Everyone stay safe. And as always, peace out.